United States Olympian, former four-time NCAA Division I All-American wrestler Ben Askren, still undefeated in mixed martial arts DC, and truly, in terms of his wrestling accomplishments, one of the best American collegiate wrestlers of all time. He is one of the best American collegiate wrestlers of all time. But with Ben Askren, it boils down to, can you stop him? You know what's right. coming. Ben Askren is not a guy that's going to stand in front of you and try to kick and punch each other. He's coming to wrestle. He's coming to grab him. Can you stop him? Up to 20 guys almost have not been able to in Ben because of his mentality, because of how mentally strong he is, feels that he can be the UFC champion even if he doesn't develop the least striking skill. And don't let the aesthetic fool you. Doesn't have the strongest core in the game. That doesn't mean he can't go a hard 25 minutes. Today. Ben actually told me, what if this is the body that is optimal to fight? Get by, am I? Just never know. Never know. Might have a future in this game after you might. Sugar Sean O'Malley, and you can argue a lot of these people in the building tonight are here to see him. You can argue, though, this is his stiffest challenge in the UFC. I believe so. I believe this is the toughest one. And I know he's fought Piotr Young, former champion. I know he's fought Pedro Munoz. This opponent tonight is going to push him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. Sugar Show Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Ooh, what a punch. his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. Oh! Another one! I will 
good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, blood is dripping from his lip. Oh, oh how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Now we're going. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Establishing the jab. Beautiful job getting those hands on. Oh! He heard it real bad. Oh my goodness! Oh, big left! He has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body. It mixes up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Nice shot there by the champ. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. Potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you got to think they plucked that flying knee. Huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself that flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. You ready to fight? You ready? Come Second on. round underway. Straight punch, that is useful. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Right hand there. Just misses with that one. Well, these fighters did not come to play defense tonight. Back and forth we go. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion as we can see. Oh, he's got a big pressure here. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, big elbow. Just misses with a left hook there. The Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. It's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, nice kick. Great boss. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. A scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. That was nasty. What a fight. So a wise decision by him to back to his feet. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, nice inside kick. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep that pressure. 
right hook attempt. That's a miss. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Oh, he's still right. He can't even stand. Hey, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, oh saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the the round, so now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's Ready going fight. to survive unless Ready. you put him completely Ready. out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that doesn't have that ability. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Back to the left hand now. Oh, shot there on the inside. He's hooked now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed. O'Malley's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. Back to the feet now. Overhand punch to the head, it doesn't get there. Oh, oh he lands a massive kick here. Now they're both throwing with power. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. Oh, 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 that's it! Wow! Wow! Way to go, bro! Way to go! With that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ben Fucking. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.